everybody, and welcome. You ruined my fucking intro. To Horizon Zero Dawn. Fuck you! Fuck you! Oh. Fine. Anyways. It's giving me the prompt to go to the Hunter's Lodge. I don't think I'm gonna do it. Arrested too for disorder. Ooh, hello. What are you? The Mad Sun King. Sure. The reign of the Mad Sun King. Be warned, reader, that as a true account of the Mad Sun King, uh, Mad Sun King Jiran's acts, these glyphs are blotted in blood. Truly, the savageries committed can barely be recounted, so pray to the cleansing sun for yourself and the teller of these tales. You will learn of the grievous wounds inflicted on foreign lands in the reaping of sacrifice, the Red Raids! For the Mad Sun King would order a whole generation cut from each village, so they might more willingly supply sacrifices and be harder pressed to field fighting men on the next raid. The Otaru, who sought to appease with gifts of grain, were slaughtered in such numbers that upon the following harvest, the Mize grew black and blue with the blood of the dead. Against the Osaram, the terror of the sun piled the corpses of their fallen up to the walls of their villages, so his kestrels might clamber upon the dead to enter. And in the valley of the barbarian Nora, terrors of the savage east, such savagery ensued that the trees were dro uh, drooped with corpses hung as grim warnings. You should, uh, should you wish to read of the Mad King's depredations against his own people, your curiosity will not go unsated. Within are accounts of the deaths of those sentenced to the Sun Ring, listed in such detail you might think it reported by their own chattering skulls. Once piled outside the city gates, nor will you find a more harrowing account of his massacre of the Hunter's Lodge. Reading these accounts, you might imagine yourself among its brave hawks as they fought to the last, bloodying the sand from dawn till dusk. Or perhaps in the crowds as they loosed behemoths careened through the stands with crashing of wood and bone. All this crazed bloodletting did this mad Sun King take in with his pitiless gaze. Indeed, he would not even look away from the goring of his own son in that rig of death. Yes, fair-haired Kataman. Kataman of the Dawn's Rising, so degraded and doomed for the crime of standing against his father. Such a true and complete account of the Mad Sun King Juran's miseries cannot be found in the history annals, or heard from the reckoners of the Sun Priests. It is with a heavy heart that I scribe these events, leaving out no shocking detail, but my debt is to history, and to you, brave reader. Cool. That's that's really the only reaction for that, isn't it? Everyone needs a splash. It's of cool, yay! Come, let's talk it over. This is the hunter's lodge, isn't it? Yeah, it is. Who am I gonna talk to? The Sun King? The Sun King? The Sunhawk? Sunhawk douche canoe, get the fuck out of my way! Oh, hi there. I'm gonna go talk to Sunhawk douche canoe. Hi, Sunhawk douche canoe. Talana. Always a pleasure. I see you've brought your pet. Greetings, Sunhawk. I hereby sponsor Aloy of the Nora for membership in the Hunter's Lodge. No. Look at her. She's lowborn, a savage. This is beneath even you, Talana. She has fulfilled the requirements. And Sun King Avad decreed the Lodge should be open to all. Would you like to take it up with him? The word of the Sun King is indeed law. Even though it will bring ruin to the Lodge, so be it. Do you, Aloy of the Nora, pledge to act rightly and nobly when in service to the Lodge all the days to follow? You bet Thank your you. ass, son. Members Hawk of the Lodge. Canoe. Even though Tarkas is barely cold, I present to you Aloy of the Nora. Member and Thrush, what say you all? To the hunt! Sponsoring an outlander. <laughs> While you make meaningless gestures, I'll be finding Red Maw. I have the feeling you're gonna die, and either me or Talana is gonna take over as Sunhawk. Dance, laugh, remember. Sweet. Ooh, I almost got another level. Hang on. Okay, for fuck's sake, finally, out of menus. Eh. This. This is a good day. 
Mm, I'm gonna go after Redmaw. What's Redmaw? Few have seen it. A thunderjaw marked by years of battle. Some say it still bears the marks of over a dozen hunters on its flank. How many it has trampled along the way, we may never know. When members go hunting and never return, we often blame Redmaw. Cool story. But to me, it's more than legend. It's the only machine that will unseat a cease. My sponsor nearly had it, but he didn't make it. I'm sorry. Tarkas sponsored me out of loyalty Your to Your helmet family. looks kind of stupid, I'm not going to lie. It was my last link to them, besides the lodge itself. I have to unseat a cease. Then let's do it. I know why I hate a cease. Why do you? Because he's a cunt? My family has always boasted members in the lodge. My father and brother were both hawks. A cease let their sacrifice be forgotten. Um... What sacrifice? They died, obviously. They died in the massacre. They should be honored as hawks. Instead, a cease will not let anyone mention it. God damn. How did your family come to be members of the lodge? Karja noble houses have sent sons to the lodge for generations. Because they needed another place to lord over the commoners. I want to change that. The idea that someone is worthy or not by virtue of birth alone. Everyone thinks they have me pegged as soon as they hear Talana Khan Padish. I hate that. It's a long name. I understand. My whole life I lived as an outcast from Menorah. They would have been the first to say I wasn't one of them. Yet as soon as I leave the sacred lands, everyone calls me Aloy of Menora. It should be Aloy despite the Nora. Ha <laughs> ha! I didn't know. I'll remember that. Jokes, Aloy. You got jokes. What happened in the massacre? King Jaron's paranoia knew no bounds. He sent thousands of innocents to die in the sun ring. When the hawks of the lodge called for him to stop the slaughter, he threw them in the ring too. Yet when the machines attacked the condemned, more hawks leapt into the ring to defend them. And my father and brother were among them. I'm... I'm so sorry. That's kind of fucked. Sun ring. What happened to the men in the sun ring? The fuck do you think they happened? died fighting. If you wish to hear the story, Legan can tell it better. He saw it with his own eyes. I did not. The morning of the massacre, my father told me to meet him outside the city. He told me they were planning an escape. I waited for hours until a message came from my father. I had to leave the city. So I fled when I should have fought by his side. He didn't want you to die with them. Nor would he want their names forgotten. Especially by the man who benefited most from their deaths. A cease. Well. Now that you're a thrush, you should improve your reputation. Why do you hunt down a Thunderjaw and a Stormbird? I already got a Stormbird. You want me to go trophy hunting? You're not just any thrush. You're mine. And you better make me look good. But what about Redmaw? I will find him. And when I do, I expect you to be there. I expect you're probably gonna die when that happens. Ah. Uh, well, let's go get these trophies. Oh god, I've already killed a Stormbird. I kinda don't want to kill another one. But we're gonna. Alright, we're close to Stormbird territory. Wherefore art thou storm burbies? 1313, that over there. Okay, there's one. Hmm. I might override a grazer so that when a storm bird lands, I should also kill a boar. I should kill some wildlife too while I'm here. I know I need them anyways. Okay, fatty meat, that's good. Let's go get the turkeys. Okay, I just got some rather ominous music. Oh, you're a charger. That's even better than I thought. Oh, 
All right. I'm also gonna check real quick what I can and can't override. Okay, so basically everything but Stormbirds and Corruptors I can override now. So let's get this started. God, it's majestic though. Come on, knock something off it. Got a wing. Nope, you don't know where I am. <laughs> can I can I keep repeating this? Oh my god, I totally can. Let's fly away. Okay, so you know where I am. Good to know. Do, 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 do. Hopefully I can make it here. Friendly one go, there it is. Come on, friendly one. Help me, help me, please. Okay, he's distracted now. No, he's not. Hey, you know what? You can piss off. I felt that. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. Yes, I got it. Oh my god, you guys are massive. I forgot about that. This is bad. Got to break out more wing components. No, no, you come back here. You're not fucking getting away. Where the shit did you go? 
Oh my god, that's where you went. Yeah, I got one. I'm gonna get one of those blaze canisters, man. Apparently, you're still getting enough lift. Let's change that. Come on. Yes. Come on! Fucking fall! Just fucking die. No, get back here. Last shot. Come on. Go. Fuck you. Now I just need to go on a farming trip and fucking hell. Oh, come on. Okay, fishies. I mean, while I'm here.
God damn it, no, I don't want fatty meat, I want your bones. Can you get up? Well, fish skin, that's good. I want that too. Okay. Let's just re-up on all the things. Quick save here. And, one of these. and now I just need a Thunder Maw. Or er, Thunder Jaw, not Thunder Maw. Keep thinking Snap Maw and combining them together. Oh man, I also need a lot of medicinal herb. Because that the Thunder Jaw is not gonna be an easy fight at all. Yeah, I'm just gonna pocket that entire thing. What's that? Oh, there was a watcher. I see a bunny. That's not the one I want. Ah. None of the animals are dropping what I want them to. Oh, sweet. These all got destroyed. Let's just go ahead and... I'd have to leave something else behind. Stop saying that, Eloy. You don't have to leave anything behind. You can take everything with you. This is a pretty good place to come for fish, I guess. Right, come on. I kind of hate how there's not a way to, like, actually fish. Yes, fish bones. That's what I needed that. I legitimately needed that. But I will also take the meat. See, like, if I can swim up to the fish, why can't I just be like, uh, and smack it? Come on, come on. Get up, Aloy. Get up there. I probably needed the wash. Eh. Eh. I wonder if I can craft while I'm in the water. I'm kinda curious. I'm gonna check it out now. Cool. I got some stuff. Let's get some yeah, healing. Somewhere. Oh hello, what are you? Oh you're just a watcher. I promise I will fast travel soon. I just wanna Oh god. I found a patch for stalkers. Okay, apparently I can't get that. Oh, no, I can. Haha, <laughs> ancient debris. You long legs? I can actually override you guys now, so that's pretty good. Good for what remedy. What are they fighting? Oh no. Then again, I haven't overridden one of you yet. I don't think I can ride you, but... I'd love to override one of you anyways. Red light means trouble. Okay. Run, Aloy! Whew.
And let's override it. Oh man, it takes a while. Haha! <laughs> Overridden seven types of machines. Go and get him. I'll back you up. Oh shit. Apparently you don't even need me to back you up. Aw, he hurt himself. Okay, my override's not gonna last too much longer, so I should get what I can here and go. Okay, I might be able to take him out. Take out a thunder draw with what I've got now. But might is the keyword. So, let's fast travel over. Yeah, this is where that tall neck was, isn't it? Close to. Oh, there's tramplers here. I can override those and they can help me. Actually, where is that one site, that one thunder draw site close to the tall neck? Is that it here? Yes, because that was down here with the metal flower. Okay. Well. Alright, let's make sure I've got max everything before I go in here. Because this one's going to be rough. Holy shit, he's right there. Okay. Let's highlight you and your track. Oh shit. Because I have the feeling I'm going to be setting a bunch of traps for you. That thing is huge and built to fight. Yep. Which is why we're going to be avoiding it as best we can. He says, and then immediately gets found. Okay. I've dealt with this before. It's not too bad, just gotta outsmart it. Okay. Oh no. Okay, no, that's not okay. Never mind. I was mistaken. Oh. Somehow I only managed to take three damage from that. You no, know this isn't bad actually. Considering I don't think you can get up here. I can just rain bombs on it all day. Or I can do what I was trying to do before when I fought it. Oh, I can get up here. Oh boy, I can get up here. Oh, it's gonna use this radar. Okay. This is now a 4,000% more rough fight. Yes! It's gonna make it much more manageable. Come on, let me 
me get those cannons. Yes! <laughs> yes. What do you got now? Oh, it's still got that. Okay, now all that's got left is the tail. Come on. Come on, don't be a storm bird. Yeah. What are you going to do about it? I know you can get up here, bud. Yes. <laughs> now it doesn't have anything. Let's just make more of these now. Oh, I can't make any more of the tear glass ones. <laughs> oh god. No, you get back here. Killed that motherfucker. Yeah. Fuck yes. I'm feeling real good about that. Is there anything else you have on you that I want? Freeze coil, damage coil. Yeah, I want all those. So I'm going to go ahead and drop some of the coils that I've got already. Some of the not really good ones. Ah, uh, yeah. Okay, so his tail is going to be something. <laughs> I'm just going to take his entire tail. Yep. Not even going to make any qualms about it. I just got his entire tail. Holy shit, that fight went so much better than I thought it would. Like, I didn't have to heal myself at all during that fight. I was being a little bitch, but I still didn't have to heal myself at all. I see you, Fox. And I'm killing you. Good. 
Fox bone. Kind of need that. Echo show. Sweet. Anything else that I can grab that fell off of him? Because his, like, radar thing fell off somewhere over here. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, that's just a watcher. Are you guys hostile? Oh, you're friendly. Hi. Please don't attack me. Although I am going to attack this fox. Come here. Come here. Come here. I said. Come here. Eh. Yeah. Go back and see what this was. Ah, it's just, just some of that. It's not nothing off of the thunder dry. Just fucking took out by myself. I should light this campfire. Oh no, I already did light this campfire. That's why I could travel to it. Oh no, I didn't light it. What are you investigating? Oh, that. Yeah, that was the thunder draw, man. I already took it out. You don't have to worry about it. It's not even a problem anymore. Speaking of that, it's time to travel back to Beridian. Awesome, we're here. Let's go present this to the Hunter's Lodge. To what's her nuts? Or black thereof, I suppose. That's a pretty eventful episode. Thunderjaw and a Stormbird, all in Juan. And honestly, the Stormbird was the more difficult one. That mobility is bullshit. Come on. Let me fucking... Where's Jelana? Oh, she went out to Red Maw, I'm assuming. No Assis either. Maybe Ligon knows where they are. Uh-oh. Shit's going down. Did I already read you? No, I didn't read you. Bylaws of the Lodge. Bylaws of the Hunter Lodge, Section 1, Preamble. 1.1, the hunt is the noblest pursuit in the Sundom, save those of the Sun King and his Sun Priest. The hunter's strength, the hunter's honor. The hunt protects, the hunt preserves. 1.2, what is the hunt, hunt but competition? What is competition without rank, honor, and victor? <coughs> Just for you guys. <coughs> Again, just for you guys. 1.3. The Lodge lends law and lore to the hunt, so all will know who has prevailed. 1.4. Thus, the Lodge is not just its members and not just its house in Meridian. It is the spirit of the hunt, a code to be honored, an ideal to be lived. 1.5. Only those of no the noblest blood can embody the noblest ideals. As such, only Karja males of pure blood may honor the Lodge and tread in its house. 1.6. By order of his radiance Avad, 14th Sun King of the Karja, Bylaw 5 of Section 1 is hereby rescinded. Section 2. Membership. Hmm. Eh, I might as well read all this. Fuck it. If you don't like it, fast forward like two or three minutes. I'd say two. 2.1. No hunter shall gain admittance to the lodge without three half-sons, one with honor at any hunting ground. See Section 5 below. There are two classes of member, Hawk being senior, Thrush being junior. Two point, uh, I'm just going to stop saying the two point whatever, so whatever. The rank of Thrush can only be gained through the sponsorship of a, of a Hawk. Each Hawk may sponsor only one Thrush. There can only be seven Hawks. A Thrush can only become a Hawk through the death of his sponsor. The Hawk who hunts the greatest prey shall become Sun Hawk and lead the Lodge. In the event of the quality of prey is in dispute, the Hawk who hunted first shall remain first as Sun Hawk. Only Karja males of pure blood may become Thrush, Hawk, or Sunhawk. By order of his radiance, Avad, 14th Sun King of the Karja, below, a bylaw 7 of Section 2 is hereby rescinded. Section 3, Proof of the Hunt. The greatest hunts often bear no witness, therefore a trophy must be kept. A trophy uh, may be submitted to the Sunhawk as proof of a victorious hunt. A trophy must be intact, undamaged, and from a recent hunt. The Sunhawk shall have final authority in any dispute over a trophy's worth. Only Karja males of pure blood may submit a trophy to the Sunhawk. 
by order of his radiance of uh his radiance of uh 14th sun king with the car job by law five and section three is hereby rescinded section two to protect and preserve preserve a hunt for its own sake is noble a hunt in the service of others is blessed by the sun when called upon hawks and thrushes must undertake any reasonable hunt asked of them if it serves to protect the citizens of the sundom the Sunhawk has sole authority to negotiate any fees or bounties associated with any hunt undertaken by members of the Lodge on behalf of the, su uh, on behalf of the Sundom. Any profit from any hunt undertaken by members of the Lodge uh, on behalf of the Sundom shall be shared by all seven Hawks, administered by the Sunhawk. Only cardinal males of pure blood, yeah, 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 and then rescinded. For the uh, Section 5, Hunting Grounds. For the purpose of training and recruiting the best and greatest hunters, the Lodge shall provide and maintain hunting grounds. Each hunting ground shall test a different range of skills through three trials crafted by its keeper, in consultation with the Sunhawk. There shall be three rewards for each trial in ascending order of performance. Half Sun, Full Sun, Blazing Sun. Hunters who prove themselves by winning the requisite number of suns may be entitled to special gear at the Lodge, at the, at the discretion of the Sunhawk. The Lodge shall provide funds for the construction and maintenance of all trials and facilities at hunting grounds. The Lodge shall receive all profit, profits associated with the sale of parts, ammunition, and equipment from all hunting grounds. Any profits received from hunting grounds shall be shared by all seven hawks administered by the Sunhawk. Keepers shall be chosen exclusively by the Sunhawk and serve for a term of seven years. Oh, and then, yeah, only cartridge males and by order, yeah. We all know that bit. Oh, Jeeves! You have trophies? I can hang on to them until the Sunhawk returns. Where are Assis and Talana? Assis received word about Red Maw and rushed out. Talana found out a short time later and had to follow. Of course. They both went alone? Assis left without his thrush. Talana did as well. Though, I saw some outlanders follow after her. I wouldn't put it past Assis to try something underhanded to get the kill. Where have they gone? I have to help if I can. Hmm. You might be right. They've gone southeast, headed for the spear shafts. You'd better hurry. Well. We will hurry there, and we'll hurry there next time. On Horizon Zero Dawn. Bye, guys. Come here. Ah! <laughs> what? Ah!